just watching for the very first time thank you so much for watching and it will mean the world to me if you subscribe uh, like and share this video if it has been so beneficial to you so how are you guys how are you doing how is everything i hope you guys are keeping safe um well i just wanted to check up on you so for my old subscribers thank you guys for the support i'm really grateful for my new subscribers thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i'm grateful thank you for subscribing it means the world to me thank you god bless you Please, you please ignore the back, the background noise. That's uh, one of the reasons why I put background music in my because of the noise. So they're actually working in the other house. There. So that's why the noise is. So uh, I'll try as much as possible to be very very loud on this video. So yes, let's jump right into it. Uh huh. Before I before we jump right into the topic, I just want to uh, let you guys know that I have a website where I um, talk about all these uh, tribal marks, because second and uh, lace her pen. I talked about it in detail. So if you guys would like to check out um, um, my website, it's, the link is in the description box. Please go check it out. And you know, if just in case you couldn't grab a, a one or two in this uh, video, you can just go there. I wrote everything in detail for you there. And if you're trying to order, um, order a Pico second lace, uh, detail Pico second lace, uh, the link is, uh, for Amazon is in the description box. You can use it or direct there. So yes, let's jump right into the video. So today we'll be talking about the important things to note before starting a laser treatment. I just want you guys to know this. This is very important. I do a lot of, you know, work and research and all that, and I was able to get some few things to add to what I've um, already said before. So this one is very very important for you to to note. Um, and okay, so let's jump right into number one. Will be laser treatment cannot 100% get rid of a scar within a week or a month because I got a lot of requests like, Oh, can this thing work? Is it going to work? Yes, it's going to work, okay, but it takes time, and sometimes it will look as if it's not going to work, or it will look as if the scar is back, or it's it's not fading but it is consistent like i told you you see results you notice results but you have to be consistent with it you don't have to do it and just go sit down and say okay you know what i'm tired i'm done i know it's painful i know that the whole treatment the whole procedure is painful but you know if you really want to do it why don't you get through it with it so i feel like if you really want to invest your time uh, your energy and everything on it so it's 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 you have to be vested in the whole thing. you have to be vested you have to say okay you know what i want to do this i'm i'm going to do this so and you should have a, like a specific uh, sorry a speculator time like okay this is the time i'm going to do it this is the time i'm going to rest for it this is then you just have a like a time to go and schedule for it so I just want to get this one out there it's not going to get um declared in a week mine is month and it's still going like you can still see that there's a, a, a bit but mine is like it's completely clear but you know they still notice that it's uh, um, this but it's going okay it takes time to to completely go i'm going to do a video on six stages of, of faces or stages of picosecond laser treatment of of getting rid of a scar the stages they involve so you got have to check that video out so number two is result dependent now your result the results you're going to get from this uh whole thing depend solely on you or on the skill of the person that is using it for you you understand let me explain this one in detail what i mean is that for you to get a very good efficient result it depends solely on mainly on the person using it for you okay so you have to look for something an expertise or something somebody who has or you have to train the person or tell the person this is what i want this is exactly where you're going to put it and this is what i want and this is what i want so that's how you could get a result okay at first you may not notice any changes you may not notice that this change okay i have been using it for months like my scar over here is clearing there's a, 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 it's clearing but this one over you could still notice that there's but it has cleared like if i don't have makeup on you won't know i have a scar but the you won't know that i have a scar from afar but except you come close then you saw you see the sign there okay so 
So number three is it's important to know your type of skin before you start the laser treatment. So it is important to know this. It is highly important to know uh, your skin type before you even begin to do anything on your face, okay, or on your skin. If you have a very sensitive skin or a skin that um, that takes time to heal, you you have to check in with the dermatologist first before you even try that. So. Um, it, it looks like okay, yeah, yeah, the beautiful but you have to really check with your, your, your dermatologist and, and know whether and, or not to do it. If you have a very sensitive skin or oily skin or dry skin, just know what you're doing. And the oils I told you, there are some people that are very um they're allergic to some, to some certain oils, so you have to be very, very careful the kind of oil you put on your skin too. So um if you're allergic to if you're allergic to uh, satin oil you remove the oil while you're doing your own treatment oil your scalp treatment oil if you remove this those oils from you so it doesn't um, it doesn't cause your skin or it doesn't give you a side effect or something so yes so um, and also when you go to when you go to your dermatologist I will I think that's one of the you should be honest completely honest with your dermatologist tell them tell your dermatologist what and what uh, you you do if you smoke uh, if you take there's certain kind of su supplement or medication you take you have to uh, let the person know and if you have a question like again if you have a question you have you want me to talk to you, uh, talk to me about the, the you send the question to this uh, ac um, email account on the screen and just I'll attend to them okay so yeah so number number four would be sun protection is highly important during this time. So you need to wear sun protection. I I always say that because if you don't use sun protection and you let sun directly touch the area you've walked on or you you just walked on, it begins to change color from you know red to black and all that. It will not give you the desired result you want. So you want to be, if you really want to do this, you want, you need to avoid sun you need to avoid uh going out um, in the scorching hot sun you can wear a cap or face cap that's what i say in my you can wear a face cap um yeah because it can really really affect a uh, where you walk turn and you know this color the area so you want to you need to make some lifestyle changes again number number my number five would be you need to really make some lifestyle changes and that involves like if you if you if you're smoking before uh, you have to stop it maybe two weeks before you even start the whole laser treatment and two weeks after or a month after you have to stop it if you're taking some harsh medication that you know that it will not allow you to heal properly or heal quickly or heal faster I, I would advise you to stay away from them two weeks prior to the whole thing two weeks prior to the laser treatment and two weeks after before you start with the, before you continue with the whole medication so you have to be very very careful and um, yeah so I would like you to um, there's you need to stop taking um, a vitamin E aspirin and other medication or supplement that might delay healing so I, I brought that um, aspirin kind of delay healing it make it doesn't make healing um, faster or quicker so you have to avoid uh, taking aspirin for that period of time so in order to heal faster and you know quicker and um, stop using skincare products that contains retinol or glycolic acid for like two to four weeks so if your cream or your face cream or your face mask contain retinol or glycolic acid I would advise you to stay away from it prior to two weeks prior to the laser treatment and two weeks after or four weeks after so yeah and if you're prone to uh, cold sores, you can take medication to prevent cold sores. So, if you have this, if you have cold sores, so you have to take medication for that. So, and you may need. Um, I want to put it out there again. You may need a more than one time laser treatment to get rid of a scar trauma mat. Trust me, you will need it. You will need more than that. You need several, several. Okay, I bought mine. June, I think I, I, is it June or July? I can't remember the, the exact date, 
I can't remember the exact date, but I knew it was last year and it was around June, July, August. We did this. I started using it from then and I'm still using it now. So you see how long it took me, right? So you should know that you're it's a big time job. It's also if you if it took if it was a mark if it's a score or or a scar that has been long, it will take time to see changes and notice changes. So yeah. Now, results take time to appear or notice. You may notice a later improvement at first, but don't get discouraged. It, you will soon notice a big change. Trust me, at first when I started using it, um, I didn't see that big change. I didn't see that big. People still tell me, oh, you know what? You need to stop using it because people are going to get you discouraged. I'm like, oh, the sky is even getting bigger. The sky is even getting, you know, they keep telling you one thing or the other. But you yourself know the change that you have seen. So that change is enough to keep you going if you truly want this thing to be done so again um if you're if you're using the picosecond if you're using the blue light or the red light i want you to start from the lowest to and work your way down to the highest don't start from the highest you may damage you especially if you're using it for the very first time start from the lowest and work your way to the highest the lowest i think is nine for the blue light you start your way from nine to one okay you don't start from one to nine no you start your way from nine to one and um, for the intensity the, the highest intensity is one start from um, the the bar the three bar here I, I, as you can see on the screen start from the third bar there and move your way to the shorter bar there okay so um again i will still say that if um my results differ from every other person's results this person might try it and it wouldn't work faster than mine okay that's why i would love to hear feedback from you guys so in my if this person might try that it might work faster than mine or yours might delay more than mine so don't use my own result as a comparison with your result I got a lot of questions that uh, why is mine is not faster why is mine no make sure that you're still doing the same exact same thing I'm doing you're gonna see results it's gonna be faster but it might not because everybody's system differs I learned that the hardest I tried that with one of my friend her results was way faster than mine so please if you're going to do that don't get discouraged if you didn't see the result that mine's your eyes my kind of result so note that every person's result is different it's totally different so embrace your result embrace your journey embrace everything and love your journey so yeah thank you guys um for another you know for your support and everything i'm grateful and uh, please if you haven't subscribed i would really love you to subscribe join me i'm trying to hit 1k i want to hit 1k with your support okay i can't get to that point that place with without your support so please thank you and um um again i have a website where i talk about this laser i, um, I talk about everything you need to do and you can also order there too um the link is in the description box check it out and check out my website so thank you guys for the support i'm grateful have a great day, be beautiful, stay safe, enjoy your day, and God bless.